This absolutely massive cloth mask is the Resonance 95. It's a mask for singers that's supposed to allow for lots of jaw motion and still be very protective. And it's got some good test results behind the filter media. But does it actually fit well? Well, we'll find out if it fits me, and I'm going to compare it to this 3M Aura and use as much jaw motion as I can during one of the tests to see which one works better on me. It's got some interesting features. On the front, it's got big, um, sort of maybe plastic bands to hold it wide open and away from your face so that the mask doesn't touch your face. It's got this really um, deep cutout here. Um, so it comes back under your chin just a whole lot. Uh, it's got a very wide top part here. And on the inside, there is what looks like a bead of silicone. I'm not sure how they got that there or not but that may provide a nice grippy seal to keep it on your nose. There is a nose wire that runs the whole width of this, um, but I don't know how well that's going to work. It's not very stiff, not nearly as stiff as the nose wire here, and, and I think that's going to be a possible uh, failing on this mask. But who knows, it could surprise me, and I'm going to do a fit test to find out. All right, I've got this mask on. It's very comfortable, uh, very roomy, easy to move my mouth, um, super breathable. I can feel maybe a slight leak right here. I wish the nose wire were a little firmer because it's doing a lot of heavy lifting to stay conformed to the shape of uh, my nose bridge. But it fits better than I uh, thought it would with the um, stiffness of the nose wire that it does have. So let's give this a test. Well, um, that's underwhelming. Uh, they've got lab tests that say this has great filter media, uh, but I just got a fit factor of four. That's not great. And, and um, yeah, and I was using what's called N95 mode. That just checks the seal for seal leakage. It's not even testing the filter media. Um, I, it, it felt like it fit fairly well, but no, apparently not. Um, that, that is surprising. A fit factor of four means that it's about four times cleaner inside, uh, which is, is not great. Um, a mask like this, usually, you know, on me, we'll get a fit factor of around 200 or so. It depends on the day. Um, I'm going to test this mask and see how it works in the same exact mode and see if I get better or worse results. So this is the 3M Aura. I can already feel that I don't have as much jaw motion room. Uh, so I suspect that I might get a pretty low fit test when I do my maximum jaw motion test during the talking test. So we'll see. Well, as you might have noticed, this mask came off of my mouth when I was testing it. That's because I was using maximum jaw motion to try to simulate what a singer might do, since I don't sing, and singing can put particles from you into the mask and fool the fit test into thinking you're failing because of your particles. So without actually singing, I still failed this fit test, but I also got the same score as the resonance mask, even after this came off my nose. That kind of tells me the resonance mask did really badly, but I love how much room it has to talk and to sing. And it feels good, so I don't understand why it didn't perform better. Um, now, before I started moving my jaw, I got the max fit factor of 200 with this. And the resonance mask, uh, even before I started uh, moving my jaw, did not pass, uh, even in the first exercise. So I'm going to do one more test, and I'm going to try and get the best possible fit out of that mask to see if there's a way to get it to pass a fit test, even if I have to cheat. This is Fix the Mask. It's a mask brace that helps masks fit better. Um, if you have a mask that fits really well, like this one generally fits me pretty well, you, you don't need a mask fitter. But if you don't have a great mask, or if you're not sure if your mask fits well, this can be a literal lifesaver by giving you a much better seal. And I'm hoping it will give me a better seal with this Resonance 95 mask. Let's see if it does. Wow, that was a whole lot of work to get it to pass a fit test, but it did, so the mask can pass a fit test, but maybe not on its own, or at least not on me. So at least the filter media seems to be working, and you can make it seal. 
let's take a look and see what happens when I fit test it again, but without the fix the mask brace. Well, that last fit test confirms this mask does not fit me, in spite of having good filter media. And that's the problem with masks, is that you can have great filter media, but you still need it to fit you. Now, I know it doesn't fit me, but what about you? How do you find out if this mask fits you? Well, it's not that difficult. If you've got a nano mister and some of this fit testing solution, you can put it in the mister, aerosolize the particles, and spray it near your mask. The particles are too big to go through the filter, but if they get in under the seal like a leak, well, you can taste that challenge agent and know that your mask leaks. I'll have links in the description to where you can get a kit that uses this that's not too expensive, or where you can buy the individual parts that are in it if it's out of stock. Uh, the parts can cost you more or less depending on how you get them, but it's not that expensive and it might be worth it to stay healthy. Especially with a mask like this that looks great, has a lot of great features, but may or may not fit you well. Let's talk about why that might be. Um, I don't know exactly where this mask leaked on me. I didn't feel big leaks. Um, the nose wire is uh, not as stiff as it could be. That might have been the problem. But another problem is these big plastic strips that help it stay open and away from your face. On the back side, they kind of make a little channel where air can get out. There's, they're not really pressing down well on this inside part against your face. So I feel like it's making a little air tunnel here where air can get out. I don't know if that's the case. It would take some testing to figure out where it's leaking, but that's one possibility. And that's a problem with NIOSH testing as well. You don't actually have to test a mask on a single person if you're doing a particulate mask. It just has to have good filter media and pass uh, various breathability and filtration tests, and you have to have a quality control inspection for your factory. And after that, you know, with a few other hurdles to, to jump through, you can get your mask approved. So this mask could be approved by NIOSH and still not fit. So don't count on NIOSH N95 approval, meaning that the mask will fit you. It still might not, and you should still do a fit test. Um, now, speaking of NIOSH approval, uh, they talk about getting NIOSH approval, but they also talk about reusing the mask. They say, oh, you can jar wash it, put it in some soapy water in a jar for 10 minutes. I, I didn't see whether they told you to rinse that off or not. Um, you can't wash N95 masks under current NIOSH rules. So if they did get a NIOSH approval, I think they would have to take those instructions off. Um, and I don't think those would fly. And that would make this a difficult mask to sell. This is a $30 mask. And if it turns into a disposable with a limited lifespan, it's going to be harder to sell than a mask that you say you can wash. Uh, in the future, I will test how well the filtration holds up over um, a period of time after washing it. But at the moment, that doesn't actually even matter because the filter media isn't the problem. The fit is. And even if the filter media's filtration efficiency was cut in half, that wouldn't actually affect how well it worked on me much at all because the filtration media wasn't the issue, the leaks were. So anyways, neat mask, very promising. I can't tell for sure if it would work on other people well, but I would not assume so without fit testing a bunch of people. I'd love to know uh, what resonance has to say about this and if they maybe have a fit testing panel. Do they have data that can tell us how well it fits people? Or maybe that's what's holding up their N95 approval. No idea. But uh, please comment if you've got experience with this mask.